everybody! S.A. Spiker here. Wanted to talk to you real quick today about uh, protecting yourself properly if you're going to be doing any type of spray painting. Um, and what, what I use and what everyone should use is going to be around um, any type of spray paint for any prolonged period of time is a, a good respirator like this, a proper respirator that gives you the good seal and has these cartridges that you breathe in and out through. Um, these things are, are really a must. You know, you could get away if you just think you might want to try it and want to try to do a couple of paintings. Um, you could probably get get by without one of these if you at least you know, at least wear one of those little uh, cloth paper masks, which are really just dust, ma dust masks and won't filter out the vapors uh, the way this thing will. You know, even a handkerchief is better than nothing if you want to try a couple of paintings. But any, any more than a couple of paintings, you really need to invest in one of these. Um, you know, they got them at Lowe's, Home Depot. But they're pretty expensive. They're like 30 bucks. Maybe going for like 20 bucks. Um, the expensive ones, you can get replaceable cartridges for in here. And when these things get clogged up, you can replace them. This particular brand here, I got it at uh, Harbor Freight. I think they go for like $15.99. I had 20% off coupon, so, you know, 13 bucks. But um, can't replace these cartridges, so I'll probably be picking up another one of these pretty soon. And... Uh, when you wear this thing, you really need to make sure you have a good seal where it's supposed to around in here. You know, tighten up the straps. Get a good seal, make sure your breath is going in and out through these cartridges and not seeping through around your nose or down by your chin because then you'll be sucking in vapors anyways. It's really important. Uh, not, it, not only is this stuff bad for your lungs, you know, these enamel... These are really enamel paints that usually used for this type of thing um, and sometimes I might spray some lacquer paints or I'll spray lacquer on the when I'm finishing guitars and that stuff's twice as bad I mean you don't definitely don't want to be breathing in any of those fumes uh, or you know if you're spraying urethane that's that's just as bad that type of stuff um, not only is every, all of it bad for your lungs you know it could cause short-term memory loss luckily I've always used one, so I've never, never seen any problems or side effects or anything like that that would really, you know, cause any type of uh, and so. Uh, look at the pretty colors. Or, or short short term memory loss, that type of thing. I've heard could be, could be um, you know. Luckily, I've never really had any of those ty ty types of. of um, I've always worn the mask. I never, never really noticed any short term memory loss, that type of thing. Sometimes, you know, I mean, if you don't protect yourself, it could really um, cause some problems. But, and the other thing uh, to be aware of, you know, um, I did some some spray paint, spading, painting outside. Um, you, you need to be properly ventilated, you know. Um, this is my, my great art studio here. I have... Um, like an, uh, a range hood with an exhaust fan up above where I paint and another exhaust fan over there sucking fumes out of here and um, when I'm doing spray painting I got this uh, these plastic sheets that I hang up around here to make sure I don't have um, you know fine mist going out all over my guitars and stuff like that everything in here you know, <laughs> my airbrushes all have a nice uh, thin layer of overspray from the spray painting I've been doing. Um, 
Guess I'll just have to deal with that. <laughs> but that'll be it for today. Uh, I didn't want to get too involved with this, but uh, be remiss to not go into uh, the importance of, of protecting yourself properly if you're going to be doing anything like this. <coughs> <coughs> but like I said, luckily I've always worn the mask, so I don't have anything to worry about. See ya!